there are several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked here. Noted. Heavy workers' boots with reinforced toes and hobnails all over the yard. Isn't this something an industrial worker would wear? Eight pairs of boots have shuffled back and forth in the mud. Where else have we seen a gang of men in work boots? That's right, the hardy boys in the mess hall of whirling in rags. One, standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes, number 46. Just like Titus was wearing in his booth, this is the big dick, Titus Hardy. The one with the ball cap on his head. Is it? They didn't even bother to change boots. Putting them on the scene is easy. Maybe even too easy. 2. Standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 44. Either the blonde muscular guy, Glenn, or the young guy with a plectrum around his neck. 3. Hobnailed work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 43. The inked banger, perhaps. 4. Standard work boot, number 45 or 46. Theo, the old smoker. You think you even see a tiny fleck of cigarette ash inside the print. 5. Another standard work boot, reinforced toes, number 44. Same as before. Either the musician, Eugene, or the muscle bound blonde, Glenn. 6. Light as air. Same make of boot, but number 41. Sm better late than never, detective. The whole world is dark and the tracks burn in it with strange beauty. 7. The glowing outline of a standard work boot, number 46. The imprints are twice as deep as the others. The weight exceeds 200 kilograms. Fat Angus. Carrying something? 8. Another standard work boot. Number 44. There's an aberration in the pattern of the sole. The right sole is smoother, more worn. Curious. A missing eighth Hardy Boy. Seven sets of tracks, right? The Hardy Boys were here. That's all? Interesting. Then one of them seems to be missing. The Anything else out of the ordinary? A leader like Titus doesn't let one of his guys out of sight easily, especially at a time like this. I'm guessing that's the skinny hardy boy, the one with his front teeth missing. Yes, well, he did look a bit like a rat, <laughs> you're right. Do you think those prints belong to him? I could still be wrong. But I'm probably not. 200. This could be the combined weight of two people, one carrying the other who's tied up. Let's say a heavily built worker carrying a similarly built armored man. Maybe it was a fat hardy boy, the one sitting in the middle. He might be right. 200 kilograms of living weight is unlikely. Possibly, yes. Interesting. Let's name it the Old Soul. I wouldn't be surprised if this was the missing Hardy Boy. Wonder who he is. Oh, this one's easy. Way too easy. It's a driver. With a piece of sandpaper glued to the throttle. Which means that the missing lady driver was also present at the lynching? That's it. She's the Old Soul. Now we know who's the missing eighth person at the lynching. Do you think that Hardy and his boys could also be involved in the drug operation? <sighs> do you think Hardy and his boys could also be involved? Um, you could have kept it secret. Uh, I don't want to make any. Uh, assumptions, I guess. Understood. 
we should still go and see what Titus Hardy has got to say on the matter.